This is a prototype of the ArborTech Service Information Center running on an iPad. A user logs in and has the opportunity to either do a keyword search, a model number search, or even serial number specific search, or they can graphically navigate down through product families, through specific product models, down to a product model specific information screen where we can see the types of service information that's available at this level, or it can graphically navigate down through the subsystems of the product, in this case to an engine. Once I'm at the engine, I get a different set of service information that I can uh, look at, or I can continue to navigate down to the subsystems, in this case a piston. And uh, now, at the lowest level, the lowest level assembly that we're, we're tracking here, we get, again, a collection of different types of service information that's available. Uh, I'm going to navigate down into a parts list because I need to order a part for a damaged pistons or piston rod. Here we can start to see how uh, 3D information can be leveraged. So rather than a 2D illustration that has a bunch of callouts that maybe I don't, uh, can't quite follow, here I have 3D that I can manipulate. I can select a, a specific part and through the hotspotting capability, it's gonna highlight exactly what part that is. So now I know that I'm selecting the right part that I'm gonna order and I also feel comfortable that this is the right parts list because I told the system what product that I'm working on. This means I'm gonna get the right part when I order it. The system will allow for uh, shopping cart integration so that we can select the parts add them to the cart, and then send it off from order right here. The other thing we can do is present assembly and disassembly information in a new way. Rather than a long, verbose, written procedure, we can leverage the upstream uh, engineering CAD data and our new Creel Illustrate product to create 3D animations. and. Uh, you know, here it's very easy to understand what the right sequence of steps is, uh, how I perform those procedures, and uh, it's just a new way of uh, delivering uh, rich technical information.